So in my last few videos, I talked about the benefits, the pros and cons of reading versus playing by ear. And I talked about how I would approach that and the best strategy for doing both. Now, once you start reading music, one of the most important things you can do is the topic of this video today. Hi, I'm Donna Schwartz from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com, the site to bring your playing up to the next level. So I had a question this week from Albert and he asked about some sight reading resources. He, uh, he plays professionally all the time and he wanted some resources for reading 16th notes and syncopated rhythms and all that kind of stuff. Well, I thought that I would approach it from a more broader perspective. Uh, let me start with a story. When I was younger, I played trumpet and uh, I practiced all the time. And I made sure, I followed my teacher's instructions and I made sure that I did a little bit of sight reading every day. But what really brought it over the top and what made me a really good reader was that I would spend my Saturdays sight reading. I called them sight reading Saturdays. And all I would do is warm up and sight read. I'd sight read jazz, classical, whatever I can get my hands on. Now, you may ask, why'd you spend a whole day doing that? Well, because it was fun. It was something new. And let's face it, when you're sight reading, eh, I made a mistake. I was sight reading. <laughs> the best excuse right there. But the point being, if you want to become a really good reader, well, once you start learning how to read, you want to start incorporating a few minutes of sight reading each day, looking at something new for the first time, so that you can read more and more things. You can get, be, become a more accomplished and skilled reader, a faster reader. Now, the purpose of today's video is to give you some resources that I have and mention a couple of others that I think would help you if you want to expand your sight reading skills. One of the first books that I would recommend in particular for sight reading like syncopated rhythms is, I've got a ton of books here, is this book. And the funny story about this book, The Rhythms Complete Book by Bugs Bauer, yes, Bugs Bauer and Charles Colin. Um, Bugs Bauer actually lived across the street from one of my students back on Long Island, uh, which is actually pretty interesting when you think about it. But this is a standard book for a lot of people who are first studying jazz and they want to learn how to play syncopated rhythms. Um, they're corny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. The rhythms in this book are really corny. All right. It's a pretty old book, but it's a really thorough book and they, they really break down the rhythms and explain things to you. So for syncopation, for jazz, I would recommend this rhythms complete. That's the first one. Now there's more. There's the advanced rhythms. And again, you notice the old covers. Well, I've had these books for, I can't even tell you how many years. Um, this is also published by Charles Colin in uh, New York City on West 53rd Street. And this takes the Rhythms Complete book to another level because you're sight reading in all types of keys, five flats, five sharps. Um, and again, this is for all treble clef instruments, by the way. And uh, what's really interesting, actually, this is really, it's published by Charlie Colin, but it's by Joe Allard. I just noticed that all these years, I never really read this before. Um, very interesting. So there's a lot of a lot of things in here that are going to be really, really useful to you and pretty advanced. There are some 16th note rhythms in here, triplets, um, <laughs> double flats, the whole nine yards. So this would be a good book. It should still be available. Okay, you could probably check this out on Amazon. Okay, the next book that I would recommend is by Fred Lipsius. And this is, um, this is from Advanced Music. I think it's a German publisher. It's called Reading Key Jazz Rhythms. Okay. Now, the one thing that I haven't mentioned yet that I think I personally feel is really crucial for when you're sight reading is this. If you could find a book that has an accompanying CD. Okay, got a little bit of a glare here. Um, if you could find a book with an accompanying CD, not to play along with right away, but to check yourself later on. To me, that's the pro tip I'm going to give you. Okay. Especially if you're kind of new to sight reading, you know, you want to be able to make sure that you're doing it right. Okay. And this book, you know, um, which is really awesome. It's a very good book. They break things down, it starts from very basic stuff, and then they get into a little bit more, uh, complicated material here. Um, they even have like guide tone versions. What, what this book is, is they, they have um, basically etudes to popular standards and stuff. And they'll do guide tone versions, which is really cool. Okay. And I, I won't talk about that 
in this video. That could probably be a future video if you're interested. But um, they, they deal with the rhythms that are in here. So you do have some triplets. You do have some sixteenths, you know, your usual jazz syncopation. So this may be a good resource for you as well. Reading Key Jazz Rhythms, okay, by Fred Lipsius. And it's got a CD. You can get that book. You should be able to get these books on Amazon, but you can also get this from Jamie Abersold's jazzbooks.com, okay? All right, so I talked about having a CD. A lot of these older books that I'm pulling up uh, don't have CDs, unfortunately. Um, they didn't have CDs back in the day. That's how old these things are. <laughs> All right. Now, the other thing that you can do, aside from, as I'm going through these things, aside from going through sight reading specific books, well, you could start playing duets. That's a great way to improve your reading skills and your sight reading skills. This book is not that easy. All right. This is, uh, this is Bop Duets Complete. Again, by Bugs Bauer. All right, this is another Charlie Cullen publication. Um, this is volumes one, two, and three. And there's lots, of, there's lots of duets in here. There's over, let's see, there's what, 26, 27? No, actually 37 here. A lot of syncopations, 16th notes. Um, yeah, this is a really good book. I've, I've performed this with a few of my friends. And um, you may be able to find this on jazzbooks.com. If not, search Charles Cullen, C-O-L-I-N, okay? Duet books, good idea. In fact, going further with duets, we got David Baker's Cooking Duets. Okay, again, duet books are a great way to expand your reading and um, also your timing too. You know, I have a lot of students who had timing issues to start with. Once they started joining community bands or just playing along with myself or other people, their timing, their steadiness of rhythms got so much better. So this one again is Cookin' Duets by, it's David Baker's Modern Jazz Series. Um, this one is actually volume one. This is, I know this is really old. I mean, this was six ninety five back then, so I'm sure it's probably like 10 bucks now. But anyway, it's a good resource. And now I'm gonna get into some sight reading specific books. And let's start with this series here. I don't know how readily available these are, to be honest with you. I had, uh, growing up, I had an amazing music store that was only a few blocks away. I could walk to it. They were amazing for their, their sheet music. Um, the person that was in charge of it, 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 it was like he had like a, a dictionary in his head, you know, or an encyclopedia in his head. He just knew every single piece, every publisher, crazy. And in that store, they had all this old stuff too, stuff you couldn't find anywhere. But what they also had, um, I guess this was, I don't know, maybe in the 90s or the early 2000s, I started looking for some sight reading material for my students, and I found this series. It's called All State Sight Reading. All right, now there's, a, there's different books for each instrument. So I have the trumpet book or the, you know, treble clef baritone or the uh, clarinet sax oboe book. And what these books have in them, they have uh, many examples. A lot, it starts off pretty basic. Um, and what they deal with is they, they deal with like cut time, they deal with uh, compound meters like 6-4, complex meters like 5 over 2, 5 over 8, triple meters, 4-4 uh, four, four time, 2-4 time, all that kind of stuff. It's, um, it's interesting. It's actually, it's not a bad resource. This is probably good for the, the school kids um, who have to deal with sight reading for solo competitions and stuff. I think this one's fairly uh, on the easy side, until you get later on to some more complicated rhythms. But um, I tend to think this is a little bit more on the easy side for the most part. If you want more work on your cut time or on your uh, compound meters or triple meters, you know, then, then I would get this book. It's not a jazz book. This is classical. I should say that. Okay, so both of these are classical sight reading books. So I just wanted to point that out. Okay. The next book, and this is for treble clef instruments, again, another Charles Colin publication. Uh, that's a great resource in New York. I'm not sure if it's still on West 53rd Street, but definitely check it out. Um, this is the Perini Develop Accuracy Through Sight Reading book, okay? And um, this, again, this is going to be classical. You've got your 16th notes. You have various key signatures. You've got different types of meters, meters changing every measure. So if you're looking to expand your classical sight reading, 
I would really recommend this. And if you have um, students or if you're, you know, of school age, this would be a really good resource for you as well. Okay, and this would probably be on Amazon or check out Charlie Colon Publications. Now, the last one that I have on, on hand, or actually the last two, I should say, this one is called The Complete Sight Reading Etude Collection for Trumpet uh, by Mark Ponzo. Now, here's the thing. If you play another treble clef instrument, you could still play these books. In fact, here's my other pro tip for you. When you want to sight read, well, you could start to sight read books for other instruments, okay? If, they're, if the range is too high, read it down the octave. If it's too low, read it up the octave, okay? Get it in the range of your instrument. That's a good challenge for you. So this book by Mark Ponzo, this one's also more classically uh, based. Again, many key signatures, many meter signatures in here. Um, lots of different ones, some 5-8 time, lots of 16th notes. This is more of an, uh, I'm going to say advanced intermediate type of book, all right? But it's a good resource, again, if you want to up your skills with uh, your sight reading. Now, here's the last one I have on hand. This one, I think, will address Albert's question about sight reading stuff that's syncopated 16th notes. This is Ultimate Funk Grooves for tenor sax, and they make them for the other instruments as well. Um, this one's really cool because what they do is they have background MP3s that once you buy the book, you get the code, you could background the MP, you could uh, download the MP3s, and they give you, um, they play the riff for you, then they give you opportunities to play it back. If I were you, I would sit there, I'd figure out the riff, play it, work it out, and then check yourself with the CD, and then play along with the CD. All right, so these are definitely going to be some really good uh, 16th note rhythms, syncopated rhythms, challenging stuff, um, different tempos, mostly a moderate groove because funk isn't necessarily fast per se. Um, yeah, but moderate tempos, I would say. So this, I think, would be a really good choice for, for Albert and anybody looking to improve their 16th note sight reading as well as their syncopation. Okay, this one. Now, here's another pro tip suggestion. You could also pick up etude books. Okay, each instrument has their own like standard and revered etudes, so to speak. Pick up some etude books. It'll improve your classical playing, but you know what? It's also going to improve your jazz playing as well because it's still, it's all music. Okay, um, you could also check out Bob Mincer has a series, uh, I think it's jazz funk etudes as well. You could find that on Jamie Abersalt's site, jazzbooks.com. Okay, so those are the resources I have right now. If you have other resources, please put them in the comments below. That would be really awesome so we could share these amongst ourselves and amongst other people. Sight reading is such an important thing to do. And once you start learning music reading, that's the time you're also going to start sight reading. And based upon the level that you're reading or playing, that's the type of stuff you're going to be choosing to read. Now, if you're just starting out playing, I wouldn't choose something with 16th notes to sight read. Okay, I'd choose something with quarter notes, half notes. And then as you're playing a little bit more, getting more comfortable with, um, with feeling the rhythms and uh, reading rhythms, then you start to sight read things with eighth notes and you know, maybe some syncopation in it. Okay, so base it off of the level that you're at. So this way that you have success. All right, I hope you like this video. If you do, like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the link below. I have a free saxophone tone game plan that's going to give you the exact step-by-step -step process to get your tone sounding and you sounding like a pro. Check it out below. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.